Throughout the Middle Ages, the use of liquor was universal, and drunkenness was so common, it was unnoticed. <laughs> they called it the Middle Ages because no one was able to walk home unless they were between two other fellows. <laughs> I was the middle guy. <laughs> now, before I go any further, please do not labor under the misconception that I always have been a teetotaler. <laughs> In my younger days, I was prone to take a nip. I chortle now at that form of weakness in my otherwise strong character. But how well I remember my first encounter with the devil's brew. <laughs> I happened to step or stumble across the, um, I stumble across that. <laughs> typographical error. I happened to stumble across a case of bourbon and went right on stumbling for several days thereafter. <laughs> Of course, now I touch nothing stronger than buttermilk. Ninety proof buttermilk. <laughs> I look on my days of revelry with scorn and reproachment and shudder. <laughs> when I recall going to the corner saloon, tugging at my daddy's coattails and saying, Father, dear father, Come home with me now and bring a jug with you. <laughs> However, I came from a very illustrious family. My great-grandfather was a friend of Benjamin Franklin. In fact, my great-grandfather would have discovered electricity, but he was too poor to buy a kite. <laughs> he had to go out and hire one. I got a picture of him at home, standing in front of the town tavern. He was hiring a kite. <laughs> Much higher. <laughs> now, many of you in the audience are giggling and scoffing and saying that I have given up strong drink only because the stuff is so hard to get nowadays. But you are in error. My basement is loaded. <laughs> As I am. <laughs> a pickpocket I once converted told me they have a school in Chicago ill, short for Illinois. <laughs> A picket parking, pocket picking school. <laughs> and the beginning rule they teach is no stimulants. They have to keep their heads clear and their fingers nimble. Why, friends, you set a bucket of beer in front of a pig and he'll grunt and walk away. And so should you. <laughs> or would you rather be a duck? <laughs> rummy days, I would tremble and shake for hours upon a rising. It was the only exercise I got. <laughs> now, don't say you can't swear off drinking. It's easy. I've done it a thousand times. <laughs> In closing, I would like to offer my own favorite recipe to take the place of intoxicants. It's a real thirst quencher. It's called the Raspberry Freeze. Known in England as the Raspberry Freeze. <laughs> take one cup of pineapple juice, two cups of raspberry juice, 
One, if you're in Europe, <laughs> one cup of black tea, three cups of water, and two eggs white, two egg whites. Freeze until half stiff. <laughs> well, when you're half stiff, everything is all right. <laughs> I thank you.